Christmas Eve 2019 with the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6th edition. What is our penultimate Scotch Whiskey going to be? Stay tuned for the Whiskey Whistle. Merry Christmas, my whiskey people. Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Elkhorn Resort in Manitoba, bringing you the second last, the penultimate Scotch whiskey here in the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar 6th edition for Christmas Eve. Ooh, this is getting really exciting. I wonder what we're going to have for the last day. Well, let's wait till then. Let's focus on today, right? Get my pog out. Got it there. And let's get that whiskey out. And there we go. All right, what do we see there? I can't make that out at all. What do we have here? Ooh, I think, I think, I think it's from Weems Malts, if I'm reading backwards correctly. Well, let's see here. Ooh, all right. So from Weems Malts, we have strawberry fondant icing. Single grain scotch whiskey. Ooh, exciting. And get this. 29-year-old Invergordon, distilled in 1988. Now, I was just saying that I hadn't had Invergordon. Well, I hadn't had many other single grain scotch whiskeys. And here we have a 29-year-old. All right, so 1998 and I guess bottled in 2017 or 18. The cask type is a butt. It's 46% ABV. The cask number is WVM286 and the region is Highland. All right, so we've got our whiskey, we've got our glass, and we've got our whiskey watering apparatus with our whiskey water dropper and watering can from Angel's Share Glass. There we are. All right, let's get that cracked open and get it poured. Very, very curious about this, so curious. I've heard amazing things about older single grain Scotch whiskeys. And if you're just joining in and you're wondering what single grain Scotch whiskey is, then check out my last review of, what day was that now? I think it was, either the 16th or the 17th of the month. Uh, that was uh, a North British. All right, so first of all, we're gonna check the color out of this Invergordon 29 year old. Then we'll look at the legs of the whiskey. After that, we'll check out the nose, the palate and the finish before we finally give it a whiskey whistle whiskey score and see how this ranks amongst the rest of the whiskey. All right, so the color. What do you see there for color? A rather light color given it's 29 years old, but again, that's a butt and butts are big. And those big butts, well, uh, they don't add as much color as smaller types of casks and barrels do. But that is definitely a 10 karat gold, golden color and it's beautiful. Of course, that's natural in color. Of course, it's unchill filtered. 46% ABV, there's no reason to do either of those things. And Weems Malts, they know their stuff. They know this is bottled not for your general whiskey quaffing public. No, 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 this is bottled for people like you and me, the whiskey geeks. Okay, so on to the legs for this Invergordon. Here we are. Fairly brisk legs. Finally, we get a little bit coming out there. The secondary legs are a little bit more exciting than the first. I'm guessing that's gonna be a lighter bodied whiskey. Well, let's see if I'm right. Really, really beautiful aromas here. We've got some herbal notes, we've got some florals. We have some dandelion greens here. 
it's kind of like a salad. And I've been primed. It's, that, that primes you, right? Strawberry fondant icing. What I'm getting is a summer fresh greens salad with sliced local strawberries on top. And a beautiful walnut oil and malt vinegar vinaigrette. Oh yes, walnut. What an interesting nose. A hint of strawberry, including the tops. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of the gum that Veruca Salt ate in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Roald Dahl. And how she chewed and chewed and she got, she got soup and roast beef and she got uh, a dessert and then she turned into a blueberry, blueberry pie, right? And then she turned into a blueberry. Well, let's hope I don't turn into a walnut. On to the palate. Cheers. Now I know why they gave it the name. You do get a really beautiful strawberry icing in there. And if there were lots of herbals on the nose, there really isn't much on the palate herbal wise. We've got big, beautiful icing sugar. Strawberry icing, icing sugar, sure. An iced Christmas cookie, the sugar cookies. There's really no ginger here. You can truly tell that this is single grain scotch whiskey, but it's got so much going on there flavor wise. And yes, it's light bodied. The finish, however, is very long, very fruity, strawberry, I'm not finding any walnut on the palate or the finish, but it's just there in the nose. Really, really interesting. And again, I'm so happy to try a really old single grain whiskey. Hmm. Time to add some water. Just a couple of drops here. One, two, three, four, five. There. Interestingly, more walnut coming through on the nose now. Walnut, a bit of leather. Still, we have that delicious salad, but more strawberry added. More walnut, malt vinegar, vinaigrette. And instead of using white sugar for that vinaigrette, you're using icing sugar. Well, again, Merry Christmas. Hmm. It's 
relatively the same, just a little bit sweeter. The finish also a little bit more of a strawberry note. The tiniest little bit of a nice warm oaky tone coming through on the finish now. Well, a real delight. So thrilled that I have this. You know, I didn't pour as much as I thought. I still have about a half left. Well, that will come in handy in the days to come. I hope you're ready for Christmas and I hope you're not running out doing your last minute shopping. I probably will be myself. If you haven't noticed, this is taking a lot, a lot, a lot of my time for recording, for editing, for uploading, tagging, description, title, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's a big, big production. I hope you've enjoyed watching my videos and I'm really excited about tomorrow. I kind of want to peek. <laughs> I kind of do. I have not peeked. I promise you what you're seeing is 100% real. I don't look at it until after you've seen what it is. I know sometimes the lighting is a bit tough to, to really read it, but um, anyway, super excited about Christmas. I've got family in from Korea and it's going to be a real beautiful time. And I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas season, Christmas Day, um, Hanukkah, if you celebrate that. I think there's also Kwanzaa around this time of year. But whatever you're celebrating, even, even if it's just the end of the year, enjoy it. Be smart. Make sure you're safe. Don't drink and drive and enjoy the season. Drink in moderation. Enjoy the good stuff and a little bit less. I think that's the way to do it. Let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Weems Malt Strawberry Fondant Icing. Single grain Scotch Whiskey from Invergordon, 29 years old. What's that gonna be, folks? It's gonna be 91 out of 100. You heard it, 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for this 29-year-old Invergordon. Delicious. Excellent. So happy I tried that. Boy. Hmm. All the best to you in 2020. Really, really excited about 2020. And make sure you subscribe to the channel right over here. Hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. Ding, ding, ding. And if you've been watching lots of Whiskey Whistle, then jump in and join the Whiskey Whistle crew on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Whiskey Whistle. Merry Christmas. Thanks, everybody.